I just came home from my internship, was about to continue working on a video I'm making about skill capes, I log in to grab some footage, and I see this. Does Jagex not care? Is Jagex actually this oblivious? We're in a time where RuneScape, at least according to the majority of the vocal player base, feels like it's being neglected, and as someone who's been covering the news and following the game actively for years now, I also think it's being neglected. How does a company with hundreds of employees and, according to the most recently released financial statements, 137 million pounds in revenue, not the same as profit by the way, have the audacity to recolor a three-year-old outfit and sell it as part of some kind of limited edition pack. Now, reusing assets in itself makes sense to speed up development and isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it's a good thing if you're looking at graphical reworks and I wouldn't complain then, but this, this is insane. Misleading your customers like this is a very bad look. The funniest thing about this bit of drama is that Twitter now has a community fact check feature thingy and Jagex ended up deleting the tweet afterwards, but of course the pack still remains due to it being a partnership. And let me tell you, Jagex is not going to learn from their mistakes. So even though every single year they say, oh, we're going to be doing better. We're not going to be doing that. We're going to be more player focused. And every single year, this couldn't have been further from the truth. The question is Jagex milking their players? Um, well, yeah, it's quite a big question. Um, I don't, uh, we're absolutely not in the business of doing that. And I don't know why anybody would think we would be, because that would just basically mean that we would, you know, bring, the, bring about the end of the game, you know, quicker, which is not something any of us want, um, particularly not the people that work on Live Ops and MTX and nobody else within RuneScape or, or the whole of Jagex. It just wouldn't make sense for us to do that. Hopefully this is the first sort of real engagement we've had about this subject and, you know, mm. try and establish a bit of trust that, that we will be, you know, we take it seriously and we want to, to, to fix where it's wrong. Yeah, and obviously we'll be defined by our actions rather sure. than what yeah. our words are. <clears throat> I mean, Hero Pass was September last year and they just keep on doing these little things that by themselves may not be the biggest of deals, but it's just in a time where some developers are moving to old school to work on old school content. There's not that much going on for RuneScape 3. The CEO mentioning that there's good content coming, some of which is locked in enough to share now, which, I mean, could you share it, please? I mean, that's kind of what literally everyone is asking for. And I know there's people out there, and I've said that in my previous video, that have plenty of content to complete, but please understand that a game that you're paying for monthly, not having proper monthly updates, like proper content that is permanent, for a company making this much money is very concerning, okay? This isn't healthy and it feels like the game is being neglected. What I dislike even more about his reply is that Mod Pips mentions there being a lot more in the works that's not quite ready to be discussed yet. If I had a dollar for every time I saw Jmod say this, I would have been a millionaire by now because this is such a just... <sighs> Where's the vision? How is the executive producer saying, oh, we're going to be taking a bunch of player feedback and we're going to, you know, make the best updates for players ever? And the CEO is just like, no, no, you know, we're going to, we're going to keep a secret. Mysterious. We're not quite ready yet. Look, I'm sure Mod Pips is a fantastic dude. But telling your players you're being particularly cautious about making commitments, which is something they've heard over and over again, we're not asking for a release date, a specific day for content coming next year. We just want to know what's coming up. An approximate release date would be nice. Surely you would at least know what's in the pipeline for the coming year. I mean, man. The reason I stopped working on my other video to work on this video is simply because this is again a hot topic in the RuneScape community and for good reason. Obviously, the thing that sparked my interest is the current bit of drama going on a couple of days after that outfit drama, by the way, about the 1 billion GP treasure hunter drop. Now, this in itself probably isn't all that big of a deal. I mean, it's incredibly rare to get it from a diamond chest, which requires you to use a bunch of keys. You know, it's... It's not the fact that players are getting a billion GP, it's the fact that multiple JMods in the past have said they want to reduce the amount of gold coming into the game by reducing certain alcables from bosses or maybe, you know, redesign drop tables. The 2% Grand Exchange sales tax was added and is causing more gold to go out of the game than the amount of gold being generated from all sources daily. And now they're just slapping huge, huge sums of gold 
in Treasure Hunter as a cheap way to sell more keys. <sighs> I was so wrong about necromancy being like the thing that was going to breathe new life into RuneScape. It did for a short period, but just now Jagex is making it easier and easier for players to leave the game by the week. It's just sad. And me personally, as a content creator, I've never felt this little motivation and interest in making videos for a game. It's just, I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys. I'm kind of glad I have about 40 to 50 less hours per week to work on content until I get my degree in early July this year. Because if I wasn't spending that much time, I'd be worrying a lot more about content creation and things I want to be doing in the game. Which right now... Honestly, I don't. Please don't forget that I'm as much a player as a content creator for RuneScape. If I'm not feeling the game, I'm simply going to upload less and create different types of videos. And honestly, right now, making videos on other video games on my alternative channels or perhaps even a different channel is looking far more exciting.